<laughs> Hello there everybody and how you all doing? Welcome back to the Village Craft server with me, Patanox. Hello, hello. Now uh, as promised in between episodes I have gone ahead and added a new skyscraper to the skyline of our community main street area here and there we are. So down here is the aquatic shop that we built. And now I've gone and put in a four-floored structure above it. Unfortunately, there is nothing inside of this thing. There isn't even any floors. There isn't even a ceiling. In fact, let's just have a quick fly around. And I can show you the whole thing. There we go. Get some altitude. There we go. Yeah, as you can see, not even any roof. But, yeah, I'm rather happy with that. We'll probably get around to adding in the floors and all the interiors. Probably in a future episode. There's the uh, roof of the, the fish shop down there. Yeah, we'll probably do that in another episode because for now it's about time that we started getting ready to move over to our main base area. Now if we just fly over to the residential district just over this way. I have already gone ahead and put a path in. That's because our main area this season is very close to the community area. So yeah, there we are. See that path just coming off? Yep, comes over this way. There's a bit of a gap here. Then comes over, come round, another bit of a gap, and it just leads into the side of this mountain. Because this is going to be the main entrance to our area, but no, we're not going to be building in a mountain area again this season. No sorry. No, this season we're actually going to be building the other side of this mountain range, which has over here... Doo -doo -doo -doo, a mushroom biome. That's right. Now, as you can see, I've already gone and got rid of all the mushrooms because we don't need those. But yes, this is where our main base area is going to be. It's not even going to be a main base because this season our main base is actually going to be an apartment on Main Street. That's right. We're not actually going to have like an established base with farms and everything this season. But the main reason I'm having this is we're going to have a giant sculpture over here. But I'm not going to be doing that now. No, 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 no. That's going to be a future project because that's going to take a whole lot of resources. And I will say this. Teaser, guys. Organic shapes. Yes. Organic shapes. Very difficult to build in Minecraft, but that's what I've decided to challenge myself with this season. But no, this episode, we're going to be connecting this path to the residential area with a couple of bridges. So as you can see, we are missing one bridge just here, a nice little one. And then over here, we need a much larger bridge to bring these paths together. So I need to go and get some resources collected for that. I need some spruce wood, some dark oak, and some birch. So I'm going to go ahead and get those, and I shall see you when I've got those supplies gathered. Well, there we go. We've got quite a bit of wood in there. We've got some spruce, some birch, and some dark oak. I've also gone and got some glowstone that I need for the lighting and some carpet to go over that. However, we also need some brown carpet for the roof because I want to make sure everything I build, I always try to make sure it's not spawnable. So we need to go and get some cocoa beans because I don't actually have any. So let's just uh, fly over to the main street again because we're going to take advantage of fire and somebody's cocoa bean shop. I'm going to need at least a couple of stacks of cocoa beans to dye that wool. So let's go uh, give them some of our patronage, shall we? Da -da -da -da. Fly into the main street. Where are we? Uh, yes, here we are. Now I do believe that at some point these guys may be redesigning the shops to uh, fit in with the skyscraper theme. Who knows? Maybe this will just become part of the old district of the city. So let's have a look. I'm pretty sure it's a stack per diamond. Let's just have a quick look here. Uh, oh no, two stacks for one diamond. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Brilliant. Right. Lovely. So we'll take two stacks, one diamond. You know what? We might need some in future. Let's get four stacks. Right. With that being done, let's just dye these up. Lovely. And some carpet. There we go. Right. Let's head back to our first project. Right. So here we are over at the start of the first bridge. This is the smaller of the two. Now, the way we're going to be doing this is we're going to have uh, birch slabs for the main floor of the platform. There are going to be stairs. I'll explain that why in a bit. 
Then we will have some dark oak for the side rails. And then eventually we'll be using the spruce for the roof. So it's a three tone effect, but I think it's going to work pretty well. The spruce is slightly lighter than the dark oak. So that's going to give it slightly a weathered effect where it's been uh, bleached by the sun, if you like. And yeah, I think the birch is nice. It just looks a bit cleaner. Um, now I have realized just one thing. I've got and forgotten some scaffolding blocks. So let me go ahead and grab some dirt. Oh, there we go. First dirt for the episode, just to call this back in for now. I need dirt. Yeah, when you, whenever you're building a bridge or something, you're always going to need scaffolding blocks. How can I forget? And there goes my phone. Right, let me just get the dirt, turn my phone down, and we'll try this again, shall we? Why is... Whoa, the lag at the moment. Flipping heck, what is going on? Chunk, not loading chunk. And uh, let's just see. Yeah, crikey moly. And somebody needs some iron. Right, one sec, folks. There we go. That's better. Nice bit of dirt. So now that we've got this set up, we can actually start to place these stair blocks. Now, the reason I need the scaffolding is because these stair blocks are actually going to be upside down. And then in the middle, right where that one is, we're actually going to have some glowstone. So let's just knock out this piece. And there we go. Right, so let me get this uh, birch put over. And then we shall work on the side handrails. So yeah, I shall be back in one second with the actual bridge part of the bridge complete. Well, there we are. That is all of the birch platform down for our bridge. So the bridge is actually usable now. So everything we add now is purely just to make it non-spawnable and aesthetic and also to stop people from sliding off the edge. So what we're going to do is replace all of this dirt that is still left here with some glowstone that's right and then that will make all of this space unspawnable which is exactly what we want now i am going to be covering up all of this glowstone as well because we're going to have a yellow carpeted stripe right down the middle of this bridge of course not on not there there we go it doesn't you can't go on the half slabs but then nothing can spawn on here anyway and there we go right now the next thing we need to do is we need to put in the side rails for that and for that we're going to be using the dark oak yes dark oak planks and we're also going to need some dark oak slabs right so the way this is going to work is it's going to be like that so you have half a, a uh, slab on the side so this is why we need the slabs so that it goes all the way even when it's a half slab we can still have it looking exactly the same so I'll do it like this as well. There we go. Lovely. We'll get this going right the way across. And then we're going to be putting in some pillars to support the roof. So let's get this all in here. Of course, it's important to try and remember how we do this. Because we are going to be doing this again over on the next bridge. Which is actually quite a lot larger than this one. I think this bridge is about 22 blocks, I believe. Well, the other one's about three times as big. So it's good to get the fundamentals down before we attempt the larger version. I did go ahead and design this in creative. But as every Minecraft player knows, it is completely different building creative compared to building survival. I mean, for one thing, in creative mode, you can fly around. So there we go. And then this last one and there we go so I believe that is the handrails right now we just need to get the pillars in there we go so that's one and a half high two and a half high three lovely now I'm pretty sure that's gonna end up being replaced at the end but for now that will do and then we need one down the other end as well it's gonna be exactly the same so half a block from the platform one and a half two and a half three lovely and then we need one that's halfway down so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten right here uh, now this is a slab I'm looking at so one two three is that is that right there's a bit of a glitchiness there Yes, that's it. Perfect. 
Right, let's get that duplicate on the other side, and then we shall be ready for the roof. Right, so there we are. Now it's time to get this uh, roof in place. Now, as I mentioned before, I'll probably have to remove half a slab to get this in, because unfortunately, yet, you cannot place two half slabs of different types in the same block. Come on, Mojang, get on with it. But anyway, for now, we're going to go with the classic uh, V shape for the roof, which means I am going to need some scaffolding blocks because we need that to go there. And then we also need, hang on, how am I going to do this? Um, yeah, if you do it this way, because the next one wants to be there. Yes, brilliant. So and then this side as well, we want that down there. And then we need the scaffolding block there like so so yeah that is the basic shape we're going to go for with this roof but we need to take it all the way over carrying on with this curve that we've gone and put in rather than just putting a simple flat bridge across with a couple of steps at the end i decided to make this a nice curved bridge i think it's a bit more pleasing to the eye a bit more aesthetically pleasing so yeah we need to run this all the way across and then we'll need to go and put some brown carpet on top of the full blocks of this roof so that no mobs will be dropping on top of us as we enter or exit it. Hey, and there's Jeff. Yeah, Jeff's actually been away on his holidays recently, so welcome back, Jeff. Good to have you back, buddy. Uh, now, let's get this roof done. And then, once the carpet's done, that is this bridge sorted, and we can crack on with the much larger one. Well, there we are, folks. There is one finished bridge. And you know what? I really like the natural curve that we have going on here. I think, like I said before, I think it's much better than just having a, a flat bridge with a couple of steps at the end. So, yeah, this is looking really nice. Now, before we head on and get the second one built, you may have seen in the chat that uh, there was some somebody that was after some uh, iron blocks. Uh, we went and met him. So, uh, let's go and say hi to somebody, shall we? <laughs> um, hi, you, you okay there? Are, have, I'm doing fine. Have you figured out a way to breathe through your feet or something? Actually, I have. The air bubbles haven't shown up or anything like that. The water breathing from the helmet hasn't kicked in. Dude, that is incredible. <laughs> I know, I... Here we are, everybody, with somebody, the synchronized swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We need to get, like, seriously, at some point, we need to get a bunch of us and then just all of us look up at the same time. Figure out a nice routine Start to do or something. Across the water. Oh, I just had a thought. Kicking my feet through Dude, the water. Dude, you're walking on the underside of the surface of the water. I know, I'm talented. Thank you. You are. Huh? <laughs> Somebody, Aquaman. All right. <laughs> all right. Too many F5s. Um, so, so, I believe uh, you called me just as I was in the middle of building a bridge, or about to start building a bridge, because you need some iron. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what exactly do you need the iron for? Because we're over here at a nice little uh, beach hut that you've set up. And ah, okay. I mean, so, this is a lovely build, but I can't see the need for iron. Um, yes. Yeah, so, basically, uh, you know how, like, iron doors look amazing? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. So yeah. I was thinking of <laughs> the, like, ocean floor with them uh just to stop the stupid drowns because if you see i'm up to 16 deaths was at 15 for a while but a drowned killed me while doing this project so just trying to find a way to make it so the whole bottom of the ocean is air so they stop spawning ah uh, right i see okay we need yeah. a bit more than a stack for That's that but <laughs> uh, no i just need a ton of hoppers for a few other projects uh, and... yeah well i uh happen to have uh some of the good, the good stuff right here no i have the good stuff I've got loads of that stuff. Got loads of that stuff. How much of loads of this stuff? I've got about five stacks of that. Oh, I'm sitting at about nine to ten. <laughs> I'm that you got to five and you're just mining. Yeah. Um, I, well, I, I have no need for it, so if I find it, yeah, I'll smelt it up for the experience and then just stick it in a chest. Yeah, this is. I mean, come on, I I built a fish farm, a fish AFK fish farm out of gold blocks because I had no use for it. I stumbled upon that and then laughed really hard. <laughs> well, I've got no use for it at the moment. I mean, yeah, when I start doing the whole subway system and I need powered rails, I'll probably break that fish farm down, but yeah. Yep. 
So it was four diamonds for a stack. There we are, sir. Ooh, awesome. lovely. So before you now scurry off with your fancy diamonds, yeah. Um, I thought I, I thought I would take the opportunity to kind of explain to everyone what's going on here a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And use your video as ad space. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> free advertising, huh? Yeah, there's a reason I told you to meet here. Um, <laughs> sly business practice. Yes. Um, basically, these are little respites for everyone. Like, I'm going to try to go around to a lot of the islands, terraform them to make them look nice, and just put in a little spot. In here, there's some cake, because you, you got to have your cake. Oh, nice, yeah. bouncy bed. Um, yeah, bouncy, bouncy. Oh, you, ca you can't really bounce on the bed. I'm banging my head on the ceiling. No, that's the fun part. Concussion <laughs> is included. <laughs> So when you run in here, trying to escape the drowned or the phantoms, ow, 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 ow. Yeah, there's a reason why my old diamond helmet was called Anvil Catcher. It's to keep me safe when I try to do stuff like that. Oh, Anvil Catcher, I have to remember that one. Mm. <laughs> but, yeah, no, this is a challenge, though, to you and every other village crafter that might be seeing this. You see an island? There's another island over there. If You can look at it if you use, like, the corner of your render distance that way. I see like, it. Oh, I can see it. I can see it. Yeah, that uh, I mean, there's another island that could be a little respite. I mean, that's a bit too close to this one, though. I mean, if, if I set up one over there, we're going to go to that one, and you're not going to have any usage of this one. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> was that just a that warning a shot? A warning shot, yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> but, um, I like the little canoe that you got here as well. Thank you, that's one of my favorite, like, little quick boats. Yeah. Nice, nice little tiny little things. Yeah. It's the small but, things. Yeah, it's a tiny little details that add stuff. But yeah, no, definitely, if you feel inspired to, you see a little island, you can make it into a little respite for people to be at. I'd love to see everyone's different build styles I, like, as you go throughout the water. As you just said that, I think I, I may know a uh, pretty good spot for one like this because there's a, a cool reef over by the mining district. And by next to that is where I've been getting a lot of gravel. And there's a few yeah. little islands around there, which would be nice little respites, because I've just been sticking in bed, and then sleeping exposed. I've been sleeping under the stars, so to speak. And it'd be nice to have a nice little yeah. hut. So I might, yeah, I might have to upgrade like that. I think my bed's still actually over there. It's one of the. I keep losing spare beds, so I think I might have left it over there. I know that feeling. Yeah. Yeah. It's... No. Just. So yeah. Just yeah a I... Small little thing. Hmm. It has a TV built in. If you want to think of it as a TV, it could be a painting. I'll call it a TV. No, that's a nice widescreen TV. Yeah. Took a lot of red stuff. Watch some TV nice. in bed. And in fact, I'm actually going to make use of the bed right now. Sounds fantastic. Don't let anything haunt your dreams, okay? Ugh! <laughs> I dreamt there was somebody awesome. pointing a spiky stick at me. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for the iron. You're very welcome, sir. And hopefully, the um, I make no promises about when the Titan will be up, just that it will be up before 2019. Good. Maybe yeah. you'll have it up before I have the Iron Phoenix up. More than likely. Less than likely. <laughs> you, are you attempting a Phoenix, are you? Oh, yeah, no. That's a solid, like, two days done Iron Forever. What? You've already done it? Not yet. Oh, right, 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 right. Ah, oh, right, right, right. Warcraft, and that only took me... I don't even think it took me a full day in Warcraft. See, I remember last season, Swan attempted that, Jeff attempted that. They both got incredibly frustrated and left it half built. Yeah, no, I... <laughs> I honestly, I keep hearing that. It's like, oh yeah, this is missing from it, and this is missing, and this is missing. Like, I just saw it, like, oh, a resettable one. I've never thought of that. And then I just went and built it. Like, yeah. I didn't watch the tutorial all that much. And uh, look at this, Bra bragging like... of his redstone skills now. <laughs> what? Bragging about your redstone skills. No, 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 no. When you're able to see something, you're able to figure it out, like, oh, this must be what's happening. Mm. Just proves it was built in a logical way. Exactly. Yeah. Tango did a great job. Yeah. But thank you so much for the iron. You're very welcome, sir. Yeah, take it easy, buddy. Well, there we are, folks. That's another four diamonds in the pocket. Lovely. And to be honest, we've got plenty of iron at the moment where we've been uh, testing out our mob farm that we built over on Main Street. But for now, it's time to get this second bridge built. Now, as I say, this is about three times larger than the one we did previously. As that one was 22 blocks long, I believe, and only went down by two. 
This one is about 60 long and goes up from here to over there by five. But again, it's going to be exactly the same principle as what we had before. So let's go ahead and get this one built. Well, everybody, there we go. That is the path all the way to our main area now complete. We have the small bridge just here looking lovely over that little valley just there. Then if we follow the path down, goes over a couple of bumps, around a couple of corners. Then we have this lo fantastic long bridge just here. I'm loving the way this is coming out. And yeah, that is fantastic. Of course, it's all completely spawn proof. Nothing can spawn on the roof. Nothing can spawn inside because we have the glowstone. If you actually just look underneath as well, you can't actually see any of the glowstone. It's all hidden away. And yeah, I am loving this bridge, guys. But anyway, folks, time is starting to get away from us, so I'm afraid that is going to be it for this episode. If you have enjoyed it, please be sure to go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe and to go ahead and ring that bell so you get notified when new videos come out. But for now, folks, all that's left for me to say is take it easy, and we'll see you all in the next episode, folks. And don't forget to check out everybody else on the server as well. Links down in the description. Bye, guys. Bye.